Finish up your food. Daddy has to leave soon. Thanks for going, Daddy. I'm going back to Hong Kong for work. Okay, as long as you're back for rainbow squishes on ice tomorrow. Don't forget. Actually, that's what Daddy wanted to discuss with you, dear. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to make it, but you have a good time with Mommy, okay? No, I want you and Mommy and me to go together. Look, something came up and I can't. You promise. I'm sorry, Maxine. No! Ma Maxine, Maxine! Oi, why do you keep staring at them? I wasn't. Don't bluff. I saw you watching them a few times. You're always staring at them, Mrs. Shelley. Hey, don't you see? James is my company investor. Then how come you never notice this Jobu here? See you all the time, what? Morning, Kak. You still here? I fled Ilya in charge today. Zarif, there's something I've been wanting to speak to you about. What is it? Did you happen to come across any letters from Zarin? Why do you ask? Zarin told me that he wrote many letters to your Ibu. Really? But your Ibu never replied. And you're asking me because... Well, you didn't have any problem opening my letter. And because of that, you think... Uh... Zarif, you're not answering my question. Um, do you think I should ask Devi or your Ibu? Maybe they will... No. Um, it might trigger Ibu's mood swings. Zarif, is there anything that you're not telling me? Did you have anything to do with the missing letters? Did you take them? Is that why you tried to stop me from visiting Zarin and even cancel my visit request? I will compile the strategic initiatives and see how we can go from there. Sounds good. Oh, apologies, I have to go for another meeting. Joseph will liaise with you regarding the next meeting. Well, sure. Take care. See you. See you. Mr. Su, when would you like to meet next week? Speak to my secretary. Okay, sure. Oh yeah, next time, make better coffee. Hey, Rosali. Kenneth. Hey, congratulations on your new job. Zara told me. New? Oh, actually, Shira was really impressed with your CV. She said it was a pity she didn't get a chance to meet you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Maybe next time. Uh, I heard Kwan Shelly United is a great company. Uh, anyway, wish you all the best for your new job. By any chance, if it doesn't work out, you know where you can try. Yeah, right. thanks. Thanks. See you. See you, man. Here we go. Enjoy your meal. Sayang! You didn't tell me you're coming over. I wanted to surprise you. How's the job search? I should start looking at alternatives. Okay, so what are you thinking of? Maybe a driver. Uh? <laughs> we need money for our living expenses and the baby. Yeah, but you want so much more than that. And Ibu will flip. It's as good as telling her that you've given up on yourself. Things are tough. Maybe I shouldn't be so fussy. And if the right opportunity comes, I should just grab it, right? Even if it's not exactly what I want. Uh, let me get you something. Look, when those letters came, I knew Ibu would drop everything and run over to Abang. And what's wrong with that? Abang had to pay. She's paying in prison. Abang hurt Ibu. He didn't want to see her. And then when he changed his mind, suddenly he's begging for her forgiveness. Then it's up to Chit to decide. But you want to make him suffer longer. He screwed up all our lives, Ka. Don't you think he deserves to suffer a bit longer? How long do you intend to keep your Ibu from visiting Zarin? 
I was ready to show her the letters. I, I really was. It was when Ibu was at the lowest point. Zara eloped with Razali and got married without her consent. You saw how she was. But those letters would have uplifted her spirits. But the problem was, by that time, Abang was angry he hadn't heard from Ibu. His letters became more negative, And I couldn't show them to her. It was too late. You have to make this right. You need to come clean with Chi. What good will it be? She has a right to know, Zarif. Why is it important for Ibu to know? After what the Abang's done? After what he's put us through? Why should we care about him? So that she can reconcile with Zarin and they can rebuild their relationship. As it is, you've turned Zarin against your Ibu. Can't you see how wrong that is? Amazing. What? Just one visit and Abang's got you wrapped around his finger. You think so little of me. You think I need your protection? That I need you to fix me, Zarif? Your high-handed arrogance is disrespectful to me. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Here. I'm gonna go over and say hi. If she can put a face to my CV, then maybe she'll agree to interview me. What? No, uh. She's Khalid's mother. It's time to use our lobang. Um, but she's with a client. Now's not a good time. It's just a quick hello. I won't make a big deal. <laughs> don't. Please, just don't. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I... I lied. I was just trying to protect you. Please, say something, Ibu. Where are the letters? You don't want to read them. Abang wrote some really I terrible... I will decide it for myself. Ibu... Are you going to give them to me or not? I'm doing this for your own good. My good? You did it because you didn't want me to forgive your Abang. And then you were too cowardly to tell me the truth. You're a doctor. You're engaged to a nice girl. But you're still that immature, petty little boy jealous of his older brother. No, I'm not. So malu. Ibu, I... Yes, Dr. Zari speaking. I'll make my way there now. Ibu, I have to go to the hospital. Can we talk about this when I come back? Please don't be angry with me. Ibu was against you working with Shira. You know, I tried to reason with her, but she wouldn't listen. I'm not upset with Ibu. I'm disappointed that you lied to me. Didn't we promise to be open and transparent with each other? Complete honesty, no secrets. Yes. Then why do you lie? Because I, I don't want conflict between you and Ibu. You could have explained it to me. You know I hate to be lied to. If I can't trust you to be honest with me on this, how am I supposed to trust you with anything? I'm really sorry. Okay, fine. I, I'll talk to Ibu and I'll sort things out with Shira. Oh, let me carry those boy expensive clothes. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, nice door house. Thank you, Maxine. So what's the occasion? Dumb dad needs to make it up to his daughter because he can't watch Rainbow Squishes with her. No. Oh. I better get this assembled before she gets back from her play date. Okay.
sure you don't need any help? Ibu? Uh, about working at Kwan Shelly Holdings. Jobs are hard to come by. I don't think Rosali can afford not to try an interview there. You know, for Rosali, it'll be amazing to work for such a big organization. Zara. And it's just an interview, Ibu. Nothing could even happen. Zara. What? Let it go. I think your Ibu has something on her mind. Is everything okay, Ibu? What's wrong? Whew, so many small parts, so late. Oh, I got a lot of making up to do. That's why all the trouble. Cannot just buy a soft toy, is it? Yeah, I should have. But I thought about how happy this would make her. I mean, she's crazy about this stuff. You're a good father. When I first met you six years ago, I would never imagine CEO of Shelley Holdings would be building a dollhouse. You know, I never even wanted kids. Serious? Well, the last thing I wanted was to screw up the next generation. You know, like my parents did with me. But you're doing okay now as a father. Well, I've Emily to thank for that. She showed me I could do better and be better. She's my lifesaver. Really? She turned my life around. Without her, I wouldn't have my beautiful family. Lucky you. I don't know why my family is like this. You did your best, Ibu. But it's still not enough. It's never enough. It is enough. It's just that you got in so little thanks. Like, when I heard about how you objected to me working in Kwan Shady Holdings, it may not make sense to others, but I know you have our best interests at heart. I know it hasn't been easy for you, but... I'm sure you'll find something better than working with Shira. Don't worry about me, Ibu. I'll manage. Ibu? Why don't you go back and rest? I'll take care of things here. Today has been exhausting. How well do you know James Shelley's wife? Emily Kwan? Mm. Why this sudden interest? Nothing. Just curious. She's okay, I guess. She's like an older sister. We got along well, me, her, and her brother Charles. But when James kicked me out of the family, even she became a stranger. <laughs> so she's just another snob.
because I want to go to the playground. Not now, okay? Now. I can't go out now. How about I let you watch cartoon? Okay. After your bath. Come. Quickly, quickly. She's coming already. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's done. It's done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy! Hey, sweetie. Why is this trash? What? It's not trash. It's a... Uh... Huh? Wow, a <laughs> Mommy, look! <laughs> did you remember to thank Daddy? Thank you, Daddy. Oh, actually, you should thank your Uncle Hawk. He did most of it. Oh, I assisted. Thank you, Uncle Hawk. You're welcome. Your yeah, Uncle Hawk is very good at building things. That just makes her forget how angry she was at me. <laughs> Don't worry. She'll be mad over something else soon enough. <laughs> Uncle Hawk, since Daddy can't come, can you come wash rainbow squishes on ice tomorrow? Hey, that's a great idea. I'm sure Hawk has other plans. I know, he's free. How do you know? Huh? Oh, if he's free, then you might as well take the ticket. No point wasting it. It's a kid show. He'll be bored. Mm, yeah. Please, Uncle Hawk, I really want you to come with us. Please. Ayah, Hawk, ah. how can you say no to such a cute face? Okay, I'll go. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Sam? I'm sorry about the whole interview mess. It's over. Forget it. Looks like I really have to take up that driver job. You know, if I wasn't pregnant, I could also be in the market for a real job instead of this dead-end waitressing job. Isn't it ironic? You tried to get me out of here and now, years later, I'm back here. It's like nothing ever changed. What are you talking about? I'm gonna have a child. That's a huge change. And the best one ever, right? Besides, your Ibu is going through a rough time. I think she needs you. Yes, sir. That's exactly why you should stay where you are. So you can be around and help out here. Hi, Kak. How's Ibu? That's exactly who I'm calling about. She's not okay? She's been crying. She hasn't eaten. I tried to get her out of the room, but she refused. I know she was angry with me, but... Those letters. She must have been deeply hurt after reading them. She read the letters? I didn't give her the letters. But I... How did she... Did she go to my room? I guess so. I'll come home as soon as I can. I'm sorry uh, for insisting on you telling your Ibu the truth. Now I understand why you did what you did. Just keep an eye on Ibu. I'll make my way over as soon as I can. What else should I pick you and Maxine? That won't be necessary. We have a driver. Since the theatre is out of the way, I suppose we can meet you at your mother's store and we can proceed from there. Okay. See you tomorrow, Emily. Going park park with Emily? What talking you? See you tomorrow, Emily. There's no reason for you to meet her, so you must be a date. I'm doing James a favour. He told me to accompany his wife and daughter to a kid show. Does that sound like a date to you? Sounds like a family outing to me. Nonsense. So now you're playing husband to Emily and father to Maxine? What playing father? Don't anyone say. Joking la. Not everything you can make fun of, okay? Whatever. No need to be so kanjong. I just don't want James to have any misunderstanding. Fine. Ibu. Get out. I'm sorry. How could you? This is why I didn't want you to read the letters. 
Till now, you still think you were right to steal my letters. The last five years, I kept thinking how Zarin hates me, thinking my eldest son has disowned me. You saw how heartbroken I was, and you said nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ibu. I will make it up to you. You turned your abang against me. You made him hate me. Because of you, I'm going to lose my grandson. I will never forgive you. Get out! Please, please. Get out! I promise I'll make it up to you. Get out! Please, get I'm out. sorry. Ibu. Ibu. They could never be so wrong. And now the past has come to find its way to me. And how did it go so wrong? So I make this lies and bury them with me. Ibu, you want to make it up to me? Yes. Anything. I want you to adopt Khalid. Take him away from Rose. So won't you save me from myself? Don't wanna cry when all the lights go out. As long Maxine is happy, I'm happy. That's all I want. I wish I could believe you. Emily, look at me. What we had is over. I'm glad to know you've moved on. A long time ago. So who are you seeing now? Is it that girl I've met at Boss Lady Debbie? She seems nice. Hello. Oh, Debbie was in an accident. Can I hit my car? What? 